cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. The Night's Watch has an oath. You've seen it, and you've heard it. It is a sworn words from a recruit of the Watch who is ready to take the black. It is an oath sworn to the gods, either in a sept or in front of a weirwood tree a mile north of the wall. In the books, we hear these words spoken. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the fire that burns against the cold, the light that brings the dawn, the horn that wakes the sleepers, the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch, for this night and all the nights to come. In the show, the lines, I am the fire that burns against the cold, the light that brings the dawn, the horn that wakes the sleepers, has been deleted. Why is this? Well, it's not like the hour-long episodes couldn't spare the time for the few extra words, since the oath is rarely recited on screen anyway. What if the show did this, just as they've omitted other book material because the oath itself could add evidence to a popular theory? Let me explain. Lightbringer has been declared as the Sword of Azor High. It's of course shrouded in mystery, since red women like Melisandre believe there will be a second hero known as Azor High Reborn. If the latter of the prophetic heroes emerge, will the burning sword Lightbringer also appear? And what if it isn't a physical sword, but symbolism for something else? Look at this, I am the sword in the darkness. This part was left in the show. A sword in darkness may be referring to the symbolism of a mystery sword, since darkness can be hard to see in, just like looking for something that you have no idea what it looks like. That sounds like it could be a clue. I am the watcher on the walls. The Night's Watch is literally the watcher on the wall protecting from what lies beyond in the lands of Always Winter. I am the fire that burns against the cold. Lightbringer is said to be a sword on fire used by Azor Ahai to use against the others, or the White Walkers known as in the show. The light that brings the dawn. This is clearly similar. Azor Ahai defeated the Long Night and ended winter by bringing the dawn, the light that brings, and Lightbringer sounds very interchangeable. The Horn That Wakes the Sleepers In an ancient tale known to free folk and northerners, there is a horn of winter that apparently will not only bring the wall down like a demolition, but wake sleeping giants. What if this part of the oath is in reference to the Night's Watch during the rule of Jon Snow as Lord Commander? He united free folk, including giants, with his black brothers. And finally, the shield that guards the realms of men. It's true, the Night's Watch is the only thing guarding the realms of men, south of the Wall. And we know that the Long Night was defeated with the help of the first members of the Night's Watch by driving the others north and bringing the Dawn. Lightbringer may not be a burning sword pulled from the fire, but it may just be a group of sworn brothers who pledge their life to defend against the darkness. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.